I don't care about my African system either. Okay? I do care about my girl. I'm a musician. I play music, keyboard, everything. But if I lose my five, my music five, I'm going to be in trouble. Whereas, you know, my uh, stock, uh, my operating system, my uh, application, or whatever, whatever, if I lose them, they install a copy from somebody, a friend, <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that, but I get it from my friend and then I put it back. But if I lose my data, my music data, I'm in trouble. Okay, and that's the most important part of my life. My data. The rest, if I lose my data, that's it, I'm fine. If you work as administrator, the first thing you take out, one of your uh, main job is that you're doing, take care of data. Uh, I'm not that much close, I tell my class, no? That much work in my job, I lost some data, and that was terrible. I was lucky I was you not know, able to bring it back. So data is the most important part of you all. So if you have a computer, okay, let me repeat my question because it's important to you. Okay? Which part of your which part of the computer is it more important? Sorry? Uh, we are doing the last C drive. C drive. She says C drive. The most important part is your computer. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get the question, or maybe I'm not clear. Maybe I'm not clear. <laughs> the most important part of your computer is what? Data. Data. It's not the <laughs> CPU, C drive, F drive. It is yeah, but the data. Well, I don't care what you're keeping it, you know. The data I cannot keep. So data is very important for you guys to say. Primary, secondary, they don't have to. Pay attention to this picture. Okay, the speed and the size. The smaller, the faster is the space you better have based on that. So remember that. Okay? Why we do that? Because nothing's hundred percent perfect. Why we do the backup? Because your computer crashes, you can drop it, you know, somebody breaks your computer, somebody is stealing your computer, somebody hacks your computer, everything because it's not perfect. Okay? You know those things, I'm not gonna go in details, hopefully a teacher talk about it. But you know, these are the sample of the, the natural, of course, the disaster we talked about it. The accident. Okay, uh, am I okay? Yes. But, so, accidental. I'll give you a scenario. I'm just give you a, there's a scenario in an exam. You're reading it. And it refers to one of those options that I talked about. Okay? So, read the question. So, that is important. That's all I can. Okay? Pay attention to this one. What is the difference between the image backup? I will check more words because we don't have any time. So what is the image backup? Or image, I should say. One by one, sorry. Two copy of hard drive. You try to say something. This, it's the right direction. Image of the system. Is she right? Is she right? <laughs> Why you put this? I'm here. Is she right? Yeah, ask me. Is she a good student? Hi. Good morning. Okay, so the yeah, image is just a snapshot of you everything. Operating system, hardware, uh, not hardware, uh, uh, all the application, all the programs, data, everything. Okay, if you did the lab on that, which you did, that was, that was an option during the backing of your stock. It says system image. We ask you to don't do that because it takes a long time. Because that to take the snapshot. So what is the full backup now? That's the difference. Backup without? Image. What do you mean now? You change it. Just like the image of what I'm No, you have a screw up. So, full backup, what is that? I know, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but what is that? Yeah, I'm trying to make point this in the image. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Somebody else. This is the only one who talks? It's the one that happened. Yeah, you know? Okay. So what is the full backup? I think it's uh, all the files and all the animations that you do not just send me. No. Or not? No. Uh, because I know I won't go wrong there. 
direction. You can already be there. No. What is the full backup? Image we we talk about that is correct. It's not true. But what is the full backup? A full backup is a full backup of data. Only data. I have let's say I used to work for government. Okay? So my job was in to back up my data during the day. And on Monday, which is I'm going to talk about in a few seconds, I'll actually just back up all the data. I don't care about the application. Okay? Every day, people come in, create you know, 50 files or 100 files, millions of files, I don't care. I would back up only the data. I don't care about Microsoft or PDF files, or pictures. Anything is going to see data. Image is everything you can share. Okay? Do back up only the data. Whatever that day I created, you can. The next one, uh, incremental and differential. I'm emphasizing this part because it's very important. There are five questions. That's why I'm going through this one. Anyways, that's a question for example. Okay, image back up, we talk about it. Uh, the data was set, just the data. This one, you should know this one. Take a picture. Okay, what is that? This is the, we are talking about incremental and differential. The incremental, of course, if you look at it, so it's a long time now to <coughs> retrieve it. So for full backup, and I'm going to show you a picture, you will see that. And always, always rely on the last back, uh, full backup. It comes, that's the question for exam. When it comes to backing up in the incremental, it's quick to back it up. Okay? And uh, to restore, sorry, my mistake. Not every store. And uh, when it comes to retrieving it, it takes a long time. Now I'm going to explain it one by one. Here, I'm going to explain it, maybe you understand that. Consider yourself, you come on uh, to work as a network administrator, and you have 50 files on Monday. Okay? I do the full backup on Monday. Okay? The 50 files, that is. Next day, my staff come. Um, Change some files, in this case 15, plus they add another five files to it. That's 20. All I do, I think current up, I just gonna back up the Tuesday. That I don't touch the money anymore. I just back up the Tuesday. The next day, Wednesday, I'm gonna create another 18 files. And we are back up Wednesday. Thursday the same thing, and Friday the same thing. Is that clear? So it's fast because all I have to just know that date of create 25 and back on this. No time. Or oh, Tuesday or Wednesday. This is fast without uh, backing up. But if I want to retrieve a file, that's a nice Why? Because I have to go through the Monday, which is full backup, then I have to go to retrieve the, uh, this one, this one, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, up to Friday. And that's time consuming. So we are storing 20. And in the outside in the real world, we do that. Why we do that? As administrator, we're taking chances. Hopefully everything goes perfect, but nothing goes wrong. Because I want to go home. I don't want to stay in the two hours to back out all the data. So I go with the income. So most people are administrators do that. Okay? But if something goes wrong, good luck. Then I have to go through all help to retrieve those data. That's why the reason we use the internet. The next one, in differential, it's a little bit different, okay? It's the concept, it's a bit different. Monday, I'm gonna do the full backup, 50 parts, whatever, whatever else. Next day, when I come to work, I create 25, I'll back up this one only. Wednesday, I come all the Tuesday, plus whatever you know I have on the Wednesday. Thursday, I'm gonna add the, the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday all together. As you can see, when it comes to backing up, the differential takes time. But I have to add or to link all those files together. When it comes to retrieving, the differential is faster because all I have to go to full backup, which is Monday and Friday. So that's the case. You have to pay attention to the exam, the difference. <coughs> One done. What is a one off? Have you heard about one off? Yes, maybe no. What is one off? 
Sorry? Manually back up. Very good. He was asking me to give me a copy of your file uh, lecture. So that's one. I'm giving him my backup uh, memory stick. That's one one back. Uh, actually, one up. Okay? Manual. You should know this all these options for it now. Know them. Let me back up everything. If you remember when you were doing the uh, back up, I asked there has to be three braces. And we had some problems, some kind of argument. My teacher didn't say that, my teacher didn't say that. I said, no, you won't. It has to be multiple places, at least three places. Okay? So the exam, you have to pay attention to that. Okay? We have to pay attention to that. When it comes to something goes wrong with the computer, someone you should be able to restore it. In Windows, you know that I think I, uh, I tell my class. When your computer works fine, 100%, you are happy with it, you know, and there's no mistake, my suggestion always go to do the backup on the, the day, okay, we call it system rest restoration. You know, the day, for example, today is everything works fine, do the restoration part. Keep it, for next week again, do the same thing. Every two, three weeks, we do the backup, okay? What's gonna happen if your computer go by a brand new uh, video card? Let's give you an example. And you put on your machine and you don't want to play, you know, game, whatever. All of a sudden your computer crashes. It happens. Okay? The attention this is very federal to you with the time. And that video thing, you know, crash your computer. Now you want to get your computer back. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna fix your problem? Restart. Restore. The day the computer goes back the day you know was working from that why the restoration comes. So the rest of the system, you have to do that. And that helps you. So that's the point. Okay. By the way, Windows 10 by default restore system is the disable. You have to enable it. That is the step we have to go through it. So write this one down for the exam. Okay, that's why you have to pay attention to the system restore. For the day, as it goes on. Okay? Camera cover karta hai. Camera cover karta hai. Okay, so ready? What is the virtualization? What is virtualization? No talking, no talking, please. Two OS in one OS. Sorry? More than one OS in one OS. One, one, and one operating system you can do. Very good. So it's just a virtual, obviously, it's not real. Good. So we don't get You remember this picture? Yes, maybe no? Matrix. What is that? Matrix. I'm going to show you something later on. Just remind me. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Bed sheet. Is that real? Amasa? I cannot make it. Never mind. <laughs> know these steps. The objectives of you know, having them. Obviously, space, money, everything has to do with the virtualization. We are going to go towards the virtualization and reward. Everything's going back to the, in the past, okay? And it's good to know those things, you know, space, uh, everything regarding virtualization. These are the good things we have to know about. Uh, okay, I want to ask you a story. Yeah, pay attention to this page, okay? What can I be virtualized? Okay, in this case, network, storage, server, hardware, and desktop. In my class, we talk about it in details, but right now, I'm just giving a uh, video of those things. Okay. okay. Pay attention to this page, okay? The name, which was the manager, and what can be virtualized in CPU memory and other things, okay? Write it down. And then we'll take a picture of whatever you want. Know the brand, the type. No, I shouldn't should say brand, the type. Metal, a bare metal. What does it mean? That means the, your virtualization, the program, is sitting directly talking to the hardware. It's direct, okay? And that's why it's fast. Okay? The performance is fast because it's direct talking and passing to the other operating system. The 
The second one is the hosted cellular store because it has to go through the optical system first, and then it can talk to the target, and that's the time consumption. Okay, then you don't have to know that, you don't have to. converting the decimal to binary, those things I don't ask you, I just start for the final ones, so we have no sorry? Yeah, you have to do it anyway, it's not the practice, this is your exam Zero to eight. Very good. You see? I caught you. Oh, you caught me. Zero to seven. All together? Okay. Zero to seven. All together. So that's one. If I want to convert uh, an octal number to binary, how many digits I have to you know to represent that number? Eight. How many digits I should be Three. That's the question for the Then it's not hard. Let me do it right now. I can go home. Do the exam now. Okay. So uh, for uh, hexadecimal, it's going to be four. Got that. Good. Okay. okay. Fractional. Okay. Pay attention to fractional. You know how to do the fractional. This is the lab on it, so I'm not going to go in detail. You know how to do it. Multiply by two until you reach to whatever you have. Okay? Do you understand the concept of the overflow? What is overflow? We did that one, but I don't know if you understood it or not. If my CPU, I'll give an example, under eight bits or four bits or whatever. And if I add two numbers together and I've got extra bed, there's supposed to be eight and not be nine bed. That is the solution says, okay, I don't understand. I supposed to have eight bed and I have to end up with eight bed. Okay? And the value goes over my limit and that causes something they call it overflow. That's the whole concept. Okay? Here an example of the uh, overflow the let me this is not <coughs> let me talk about that some other topic. You know what is the how to represent the numbers in negative? You know that. So in magnitude, one's complement and two's complement. Everybody is clear with that. Yes, maybe no? Yeah. You know which one has a problem. I will go over it to be safe, okay? So in magnitude has a problem. Or oh, had, I shouldn't say had. Had a problem, we don't use it anymore. It's because creating two zeros. Two zeros and a hardware issue. That's why I cannot put it down. Okay? One's complement was the same thing. Had again two issues, two zeros, which doesn't make sense. We don't have any sense. We think as negative zero. Zero is zero. That's it. Okay, and that causing hardware issue. The only technique or system to solve this problem was two's complement. Two's complement solved everything, pretty much. Okay, 
By adding two numbers, for example, in two's complement, if we get extra bet, we know that we discard the extra bet. Do you remember that? If it's in one's complement and you add in two numbers and you got extra bet, you add it to the system again. You bring it back and you add it together. With the sign magnitude, if you add in two numbers, you know, be careful with the sign sign magnitude. You have to show them just exactly adding two two numbers together. Okay, if you got extra bet, help, you have to discard. So far, no, uh, no questions. Okay, so far so good. So the time is going to be easy. You have to be careful, you know, you do have to. There are some questions, you have to be your question, tell me the right answer. Of course, that's about it. You have to find the right answer. And that continues to be good. Following the exam, 70 questions, 70, it's 90 minutes. So for each question, around one minute and five seconds. Everything regarding funds. Not that, only. Yeah, pretty much just study your heart. Every time you study your heart. So, but pay attention to the rules complement and the rules complement. Okay, so we're going to have to stop here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So this is the two compromise. See that? You solve the problem with that extra bet. You start it, you take it. Okay? Okay. Negative numbers. Okay, let's go to step, step two step you know that. You know how to do the I'm gonna repeat it that because I've seen it during the last people made a mistake. When you're asking to add two numbers, if it's positive, it doesn't matter which technique. So I'm going to do the one complement or two complement. This number eight positive, just convert it to binary. Three, three, four. Negative, then based on the question, if it's a sign magnitude or what's not, you have to do this as step. You remember? If it's a sign magnitude, you have to put it just the one in front of the number, whatever it is. If it's a one's complement, you have to flip the bet. If it's a two's complement, you have to bring it to one's complement and then add one. Thing. So you know that. Good. We'll see during the exam. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to pay attention to it. Okay, overflow, I mentioned it. Okay, remember that you want to write it down, say that whatever to three pictures. If you in it for two complement, you can add two positive numbers or two negative numbers. Okay, and the result is opposite, whatever it is, that's overflow automatic. Doesn't matter. Usually, you not all the time, don't get me wrong. Overflow happens when you are adding to the same sign. Okay? Two positive or two negative. In computer, remember that. You never ever subtract anything from each other. The computer doesn't do it. Always use computer dot addition. Okay? If you ask a question, what is that? You never got any. That's why you have to bring the computer, uh, the, the number, say if it's negative. The one's complement and the two's complement, and then add them together. You don't know if it's allowed. So that's the point. Okay, so we talk about that. Pure subtraction, forget about that. Yeah. So during the exam, I give you some uh, numbers. Of course, I put uh, all the answers there and ask you if it's correct or not. How we can find them? Of course, you have to do all the based on what the, the technique I'm asking. The calculation, find the right answer. Okay, section, okay, overflow. I explained the overflow, what is it? Overflow. Memorize this page. Memorize it. Take a picture. I feel like a celebrity. <laughs> so, that's the one of the, not one, more than one of these things is going to be showing up your exam. So pay attention to it. Done? Did you take a picture? Good. So this is the how to add two numbers in one's complement. We know that. Do I have to go through that or not? Yes, maybe no? Yes, yes, maybe no? Two seconds. Okay, very good. If I I'm talking about the one's complement, you add in two numbers. If it's a negative number is here, you have to bring it to one's complement first, and then add it together. That's all. If you get extra bet, add it again to the system. Pretty much that's it. The negative number, you have to bring it to 
Wants complement in this case because we're talking about it. if it was a good complement, you have to bring it to one's complement. Negative, don't touch the, the positive number ever. Okay, just the negative number. Bring it to two's complement. I'm talking on the next uh, slide, and then add it together. If you got extra bed for the two's complement, then you discard. Okay, that's exactly the same thing I was talking about. It's the same thing I was talking about. The two's complement. If I got extra bed, discard. Probably point, we don't talk about the, the condition. It's just, you know, you learn about this one before. I'll go here. Pay attention to this page, okay? One bet for the sign, eight bets for the exponent, and how many? 23 altogether, 13 bets, you know, for that. Okay? And that's the signal precision. We have level precision, of course. We get pay attention to that as well. We call it significant. There's a question regarding this, pay attention to the real exam. Okay? That's a double precision. Okay? Memorize this picture as well for the, the numbers, of course. Do you know what is the I340? It's an institution in Europe and taking care of the numbers, the real numbers. It's as simple as that, I can tell you. Okay? If the number is a positive in you know, uh, I340, Zero, sign it's going to be zero. Is that correct? Is it negative? You just put the one. Good, so you know this. This question about this one. What I'm talking about this one. Here, pay attention to the exam again. There's a question about that. This, uh, if I give you a number, how to come at normalization? We call it normalization. Okay? Yeah, give you a number, it doesn't matter. Okay? 3725. Of course, I have to convert this one to binary. And then this one, how I can convert it to binary? Get it from 25. I'll try by two. Until you get everything is done, don't break it. So, <laughs> this one has to go with the left or right, based on the weather reason. If you go, I have to find the actual number one. It has to be number one. I move it five times, and that's my. Rotation just be that five times of meter. And that becomes your significance. Okay? A lot of people forget that and leave this one here. Make sure you do not add this one here. Okay? And this is a significant or Mendesa in the name. And then put them together. In this case, because I go to the right and I have to find actual number one here. I'll move it to and then my and this, uh, my exponent is going to be negative. If you left it from the magic number, 127, and you should be okay. Is that clear? Good. So, you get a question regarding the IP fully, okay? You can ask you about this part. You can ask you a question regarding Not this particular one, but the apartment test. Read it carefully. And this one's done. And then we have two, that's it. That one is passing off the table. So conversion pretty much is it. Batch part. So let's go for the batch part. The command to get the batch part in the command line. The CMD, everybody knows that. Okay? Some commands I showed you before. Pay attention to this thing, okay? In the space without space. Pay attention to the slash. Okay? If the two of us got, you have to pay attention to that. So there's a question regarding this uh, thing we have to know. Okay? If I want to, to find the content of my directory, of course the command is here. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. Good, so you know that. Okay. So I don't have to in my okay. Talk about it. And the, how I can remove the directory? Or delete the directory, sorry, my mistake. How I can delete the directory? But, you know what in a DOS environment we take directory which is the folder. How I can uh, delete the directory in RD. Did you hear my question? You see that? Uh, you are my student? You are my student? No. No? Yeah, I'm a student. 
I'm going to give you a bonus one, but you have to laugh. So what happened? See, I tricked you with the warning. I said, delete the weapon. You cannot delete the weapon. You can't. Right. doesn't work. You can't remove it. So warning is very important to understand the concept. And yes, I can delete the part. I cannot delete the weapon. I can remove it. Different story. Especially. If there are some software that on the left, the directory, again, you cannot even remove it. Because it tells you you have to go to the directory and do it one at a time. And that's you have to make it empty and then So be careful with that. If I ask you to go to a C drive, you are here. So, I'm here. Okay, I'm the C drive which is the root in Windows, okay? Somebody give him his or her uh, memory stick and takes it to my computer tells me it's G. How I can I get to G from C drive to G? What is the command? Sorry? I heard different stories. So what is the command? CD. Pay attention again. I am in drive C. You can try it. I'm in C drive. Put a memory stick and try to get to your G drive in DOS, not in the uh, window environment. And here, and I want to go to here. What is the command? CD dot CD dot And then CD G. Very good. He's gonna put it. Don't sit inside. So what is the command? CD, CDG. Mm -hmm. Right, if it works, I give you, you gotta pass the score. <laughs> it doesn't work. You must just find code. An exam, of course, I put a slash, I put a trick with different you know, way of reverting. Just go to G, colon. Try it. Okay? Copy, forget about it, maybe not going to copy. When it comes to deleting a file, pay attention to the extension. You must have in DOS, always on top of DOS. Make sure the extension is there. Okay? I give you a question without, you know, with an extension, without extension, different extension, different name. I ask for a specific file, and it said remove. The command is different. So, pay attention to those things possibly. Okay? Yeah, life is not easy, I know that. <laughs> Help. This is the question for example. Take a picture of me, not that. Okay. So, pay attention to health. If I'm looking for a specific command, I do not understand what is the that particular command I'm looking at. I example, I put time. It gives me details about that particular command. So, I have to use question one. Okay, you can try that home. Okay, batch file. Pay attention to those commands, very important. So, I go, when are you going to put this uh, echo of command? Where do you usually put it in the batch file? The beginning, or the top. Why? Why do I do that? Why because, do I put it in the top? Because every time in the batch file it has another comma. Correct. If you didn't put this, it will show every time. So you don't want to show it. Exactly. You're, you're hiding. See, by putting an echo off, okay? So you're hiding. That's why you put it in the top. But if you want to show something that you know, if your user wants to see, of course you put echo. Echo that will show, echo off, then it says it. And usually you put it on top just because you want to hide some stuff. Just you know, for the exam, uh, mm -hmm. definitely, 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 mm -hmm. uh, the question for exam. If the scenario comes and asks you, okay, why my computer, I'm writing the dashboard, it disappears. What is wrong with it? Just because you forgot to put the pause command. I should do the back. So, guaranteed, 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 guaranteed question. I can open it to show it to you. Do you want me to open the exam? Yes. yes. Uh, now everyone says yes. Can I ask you a question? Then <laughs> <laughs> just keep. What does it do? It gives the user their inputs. That's why you wrote the batch file with those numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You give them a chance to put their input. If you do not put this set command and a slash p, you cannot put their input. And that's the problem. Pay attention. 
That's the target cost. Okay? Go to, yes, pay attention. Also this one. Okay. Okay, this is kind of your programmer, I think. Is that correct? So you should know the condition for the kid. If I tell you, okay, study hard, you pass. If you want to study hard, you're going to fail. So you have to specify the exam. And go to, if when you tell me that we're executing that particular task box, you tell me to go to the menu or whatever you ask me. What is the difference? I think I mentioned that I'm not explaining that the What is the difference between call command? And go to. Go to. What is the difference between those two? All commands will be mapped at the point where it is literally specified. All commands will be controlled of the program. Pretty much close, yeah. Go to. It's within the same batch one. It goes whatever it tells it to do to bring it up and execute it. Call is kind of the same concept, but you're going to call another batch file. Okay, that calls another file, and outside, put it this way, it's going to go call it. I'll go to, it's whatever you tell them within the batch file. That's the difference between those two. I will ask you. That's the second part. Okay, so. What is happening? I'm done. So. Mm -hmm. The command IP config slash config, I'm going to talk about it, but pay attention. Attribute, there's one question regarding attribute. And the file is the, I give you a scenario again. So it has to do with scenario. And it has to do with read, okay? With read permission, okay? What is the read permission? What is the attribute? Anyway, let me rephrase my question. What is the attribute? What is the difference between attribute and the property? What is the difference? Yes. Okay. Pretty much is correct. It's easy. Properties, of course, is that when you created, who created what, uh, when, and where, whatever. It's a property of what. Okay? That's for that, and to know who created this file. You know, we can trace people. With the attribute, it's a slightly different. It's the characters of that particular file. If it's hidden, if it's read only, or say write. If it's read only, I can read it, I cannot delete it. I can manipulate those uh, attributes. And the command for that is what? What is the command for that attribute? Attribute. Attribute, it's what? Be careful, there are exams. Attribute, okay? So with this, uh, where are you? With the read uh, attribute, can I delete this one? I cannot delete this one? Read, how do you know? Did I say mother right? I can delete it, why not? Read, just read, I can read it. But if I, I didn't say I'm not other uh, attribute, pay attention to that. Read, I can read it, but something I can delete. Why? I cannot write for that, but I can be careful with that. Okay? So when this, this one is done, that attribute is the command, pay attention to it, okay? That's the question you should know. Okay, conclusion of the email. Did you uh, teacher talk about the software uh, compiler? No. No? You did conversion? Yes. Yeah. Four months you did it. <laughs> How did you convert it? This <laughs> anyway, lovely. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be talking about your program. You should know this is stuff actually. It's a, a, a job in the future. <laughs> Oh, we have one. You want to come here, uh, here the truth? Not everyone can it. It is a reality. We know that. I'm serious. I'm not joking. It's the competition. All of I tell my students, the truth. Be prepared. Right now, you're thinking this is a heyday for you guys. I'm serious. Once you're done with the school, that's the problem. That's you have to go for a job. You have to have a connection. You have to do it. All of I tell my students, if they offer you, uh, what do you call it? Call. Take it 
as fast as it can. Yesterday, my boss was talking to you. Okay? No, my boss. So, I'm sure she came and talked to me. The, anyway, the point is, take it off. Why? The reason, one you can get away from the school. That's one reason. You don't want to see me teachers every day, huh? For two years. Stay away from the teachers, okay? <laughs> get it off. Find the connection. Find who's in charge. That person saves your life. I'm serious. Saves your life. If he or she likes you and you're good at the job, you may have a chance to go back and do it. It's a competition. I've gone to college. My wife is works at the Carlton University. You mentioned you know, they have programmers like you. All those small uh, colleges, okay? They're producing programmers and we have limited uh, resources. And we have to fight for that. All of you. Those who are happy to on the class, except for the international that they will provide. But that's reality, you have to fight for that. Here, I tell you an example. This summer, you are looking for a t shirt. Swamp t shirt. Guess what? 75 PhDs. PhDs. I'm not lying to you. With the experience, knowledge, fight for one position. Imagine. I'm not going to discourage you, don't get me wrong. But this is the reality. Yeah, face it. Okay? Then just tell you how. Whatever I said, I was true. Now let's go for the uh, software interpreter and compi the compiler. There are, these are the that I said. When you're writing a program, okay, there are two ways to assemble, you know, to get out the instruction of the code. Okay? And one is the interpreter and one is the compiler. Now let's go examine what you, you wrote the batch one this, uh, last week or this week, whatever, and you write, wrote it down. It's a software interpreter. It goes with the data line by line and executes it for So this one, this is something else, goes to, goes back to whatever you tell. And it does it line by line. And that's some uh, software interpreter. These are mm -hmm. the example of. The way it works. Okay, then I'm gonna ask you to pay attention to this page, the subreddit, okay? It looks for a line and then it looks for a word, whether it is in your command, echo off, what is the word. If you cannot find that particular uh, word, it's gonna look at something the other looks for the bad or a commercial, and they execute the word, or exe. And then software interpreter execute that particular program or instruction. That's the way it works. Okay? So we have to know. Don't worry about the names, syntax at all, anything like that. How to I explain it to you? Okay. Compiler. You should know the steps. Left sir, parser, uh generator and uh, optimization. Okay? You have to know this thing. The order. Which one you want. Specifically that particular one I'm showing you, take it to job. So and that's the way it works. The compiler, it gets all the code you wrote in, uh, executed in one shot. It's different from the software interpreter because software interpreter is one line at a time. It's different. Today, I'm talking to you, you are using the software compiler. It's fast, better, but there's no guarantee. If it is a mistake, it's kind of hard to go to college. These days that they made it somehow easier for us to deal with it, with the trouble. But nevertheless, generally speaking, the software compiler because you execute everything. So therefore, you, uh, your code, all of them should be correct. Otherwise, you have to go through the, each one and then correct that. That's the way it works. Okay? Looks for a lot of things I have to ask you for those categories. Okay, but then this one, uh, pretty much that's it for that for machine language. The difference I told you, the difference is from that. Mm -hmm. code. Next week, last, uh, it's uh, supposed to be your uh, last uh, lap. But actually, you're supposed to finish today, I don't know. So you should know the, about character code. 
The first one came with the IBM, six steps. Okay, you have to know those numbers over time and who made it. Okay. I assume you do not know what is the main thread. Also, we should have talked about it. I don't have the time to explain it right now. Maybe if I have time, I'll talk. It's not seven months. Okay, you have to know the extended version of IBM. Okay. Ask it definitely, definitely pay attention to it. Who does it? Okay, and how does it work? You know, based on the uh, uh, punctuation and the telecom, uh, telecommunications that the telegraph is used to and the number of beds in the block. Unicorn, that is going to be question about that. It's a second bed, and all the languages, the symbols, everything we have, we use on Unicorn. Okay? Russian, Korean, Persian, here, name. Everything is there. Indian, okay? Chinese. That's it. You know this one. Also, we give you, there's one question regarding code. It's the same thing you do in the next week, you're going to do that. Okay? We give you a bunch of zeros and ones. We ask you to be able to work through it. And that's your question for example. Okay, this is like you're going to have to worry about a logic game. Logic games, I assume you're taking math, is that correct? Yes. You're good at math? Yes. No, sir. Okay. I this is okay. I'm not going to explain that. Those three, you memorize it. For the logic games, you don't have to memorize all the things. Uh, Let's just talk about names. Pay attention to those pictures. Okay? That's a question for example. This picture is proof of the table. This is a question. The table. Memorize the table and the picture. That's all you have to do. You don't have to memorize those other I assume, as I said, I asked you, your teacher, often. Pay attention to the, uh, the table. Not their rectangle. That the can be followed with the high care about the shape. Okay? And the table of course is going to be the table you have to pay attention to the Look at the table when you do the exam. Pay attention to the table of one. You have to the table of one. <laughs> For dogs, dogs. Eight. Try to say something. Very good. Close enough. Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> How about windows? How many characters I can use? For the windows. Naming a file in windows. Speak loud. If you make a mistake, that's fine. I want you to. 32. 64. 32 for Windows. I create a file, more document, whatever, and I want to name it. How many characters are maximum I can use? Sorry? One two here? He's trying. Okay. Two? Two sixty four.
<laughs> Don't disappoint me, please. What do you think? What is the network for you? No, it doesn't work. That doesn't work. What do you think? Don't hide. What is the network for you? You don't say I don't know? Simple. That's what they're paying to tell you. So what do you think? What is the network for you? No. I said no, that's because everyone is saying the same thing. I know it. What do you think? Connecting uh, more than two computers. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about that because you have to know this. Especially guys, your next uh, semester, you have to take a network report. You have to know this right now. These are the things you're going to be getting next year. So I give you a heads up for the other year. Okay? I 
Francesco Pass, unfortunately I don't have any time, I mean, we have time, but I have rent a factor. That's what you say. And I think you can do use that. You can do with the media. What is the media? And it's red. Sorry? Media, what is the media? The cable. The cable. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Used to be here somewhere inside. Yeah. <laughs> that's the media access point. It's a wireless, obviously. But that's enough to connect you to each other. But is that good enough for having to a media a cable or wireless? And is that good enough to have a network? No, it's not. So I'll go ahead because I know you don't. Yeah, it's not good enough. If I connect two computers together through the cable, do I have a network? No, we don't. There's a certain condition has to be met in order to have a network. And these are the conditions. Two people are willing to share. If I don't want to share my document with my stuff, my pictures, my music, whatever I have, if you want to find out to the network. Anybody can go to the network because there is something there for him or her, or somebody wants to share something. And that's the point. Uh, the system you're using, you collect NOS. Okay? You cannot do this one with the DOS. That's what I was talking about. You cannot do that because it doesn't work. DOS is not NOS. Has to be NOS. Like a Windows, like a Linux, like a Unix. You don't have the condition you have to have. This is not a problem of this. And media, of course, it is going to be wireless or it's going to be cable. Your blue cables you see in front of you. Okay? These are the three conditions you must have, and that's important for exact. I look forward to you. I'm not going to go in detail to explain everything, but you should know for the next semester I'm not going to ask you a question regarding those three uh, network types NAN, NAN, WAN. Have you heard about them? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Did it? yes. Says yes. What is LAN? Local area network. You should talk about it? No. 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 How do you know that? Huh? Took a course. I don't get it. So say it again, please. How do you know this is land man when? Took a course before that. Junior class. High school? Yes. You remember this since the high school? Yes. yes. Very small. Wow. It took me years to get it to learn about the land. <laughs> so, now you learn it. You know what's land? If you give me a definition about that, I'll give you this chocolate. <laughs> but you have to give me a correct definition. And I tell you in advance, nobody, nobody, 98% get it wrong. Even that minister, so the professors here, they get it wrong. The definition. Google if you tell me the Google definition, Google. my lunch is here. <laughs> 50 go, ahead. go ahead. So fast, fast, because we have to go. Oh, you went to grade six? Tell me right now what the grade six is. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Well, yeah, give it a shot. Huh? Who wants to get a shot? A network on a very small area. Network, uh, okay, that's fine. That's a definition. I know that definition. What is that, the land? <laughs> no, no, that's not correct. Somebody? Even your teacher next semester is going to teach you? <laughs> you said that? Is that correct? Even I put it there for you to see it. Even this definition is not correct. I wrote it down, of course. This definition is not clear or correct, actually. We said within a 30, because in 40 years ago, we are too young for that. When we had a network, it was the building, it was in our, uh, high rise, okay? And that was the, uh, the we had this definition. Today, what I'm talking to you, when I say that, I can get, a, a, if I have a computer here, in this room, I can go 100 meters outside the building, still I'm going to say that. You know what I mean? Basically, I can go get a cable for 100 meters, still I'm going to say that. But this definition is within a building. Not anymore. You get up the technology of the chain and it got better, so I can go any direction. Of course, with the length of the distance. But that's the way it works. Okay? 
Man, have you heard about man? Yes. I'm the man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm the man. I'm the chosen one, by the way. Okay. So man is less than 100 kilometers from here to uh, to what do you call Canada, man here, Orleans. These are the man. Okay. Less than 100 kilometers. Of course, WAN is the more than 100 kilometers. That's just going to be internet. We're talking about network within a network. Okay. What is the topology? Have you heard about that topology? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, what is that? Someone said yes. Yeah, what is that? Topology is a way we connect computers. We met okay, them. I accept it, yeah. But I, I need better definition. That's correct. That's I need definition. better layout. Sorry? Yeah. The physical layout of your network. How I can connect those computers together. That's important too. And we have five of them. I'm not going to go into detail to explain it up to the But we have to know the starting part of the exam. Okay? What topology is for? We don't use it anymore, but it was very hard to compare to troubleshoot it. No, was the connection was so easy. But was the troubleshooting was hard. I'm not going to go into detail. Just to know that. That's the way it works. You see that? With the boss topology, I would pass the table each individual computer and then we uh, communicate. I'm not going to go into details, so don't worry about it. I'll tell you which part. That's the table, the larger table we're using, we use to use for the uh, bus topology. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. this one you have to know for example. Okay, the start topology with today, right now I'm talking to you, we are using the start topology. Physically connecting the computer, even with the wireless. Okay, that's bad. I could have a device here, that's why it said, it says uh, half, okay? Half allows me to distribute the uh, signal that I did. It half is not the technical device, it's not. Okay, it's cheap, cost you 20, 30 dollars, but at home you use it because you have to use it. But I'm talking about in the outside, but I'm talking about hundreds of computers. We used to use those things, but it wasn't big. Causing a lot of traffic. Okay, how Rather than using the hub today, we're using something else too. I'm going to show you pictures here. Uh, what I did is networking the Cisco, okay, for your project. So, you will see all the Cisco stuff we have there. It's complicated, of course, it's a little bit hard. There's a lot of work, a lot of study in there. But it's worth it if you get your program, obviously, you don't go in your network. Let's look at the Cisco certification. So, with the start topology, I'm using Ethernet standard, okay? You're using RJ45 cable, that's a blue or a red, or color doesn't matter what any color you can use. And definitely I'm going to use half or switch. Half is not the internet, it creates traffic a lot. It doesn't care, but the name says it's a half. Just like you're going to England, you want to go to India, you want to go to China, you want to go to Iran, so you, your stuff is going to be right in London, okay? People. So when you stop, they don't care where you're going. The, 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 the distributor, you know, sending it to you in a different direction. It's not causing a lot of traffic. Okay? That was cheap. Rather than use this device, we are using something we call it switch. Okay? Switch for you know, I want to ask you to switch. Switch is intelligent. It makes a decision exactly because fit. If you send a signal to this port, I know exactly where to go to send it. Why? Because even they have some paper table. And that table keeps track of every individual port the data comes in or goes out. And that's why they are also a big five hundred dollars to put them aside. So they are going to make a decision on the That's why you're thinking switch. Okay? With the, the name of the stock topology, is, uh, it says a 10 base T. 10 stands for 10 megabit per second, not megabyte in exam. I say megabyte, a tricky. Megabit per second, and T stands, uh, base is a stands for baseband, it's a uh, series, as opposed to broadband. You have a larger cable at home, you have a 50, uh, what do you call it, channel? I don't have a TV, I don't know what. But if you have 50 channels, it's a 
front end. That's why you can change it between the channel by clicking the remote control. This is the end of the base. T stands for twisted pad. That's why it's there. Anybody know why we twist those cables? Why do they do that? Yeah, nah, to remove the okay. electromagnetic wave. Interference. Electromagnetic like interference. Go uh, check and unpaid services. That's why you have to wait for the signal. Or the air conditioning. Not the bad one, the old one you have. Because this one cause a problem. So, magnetic interference, it does. The more twisted, the better. That's what you do. Is there a physical twisted? Shall we have a twisted one? Of course, we have a twisted This is on shell. That one you have in your thing uh, is on shell. The shell one cause a problem. Very expensive. But we are doing this one. Okay? Uh, Green topology, don't worry about it. I'm not going to ask this, so I won't explain that. Mesh, we don't need to know right now. Okay. Ethernet. That's usually that is good to know. Next semester, if you're taking that program, which is really very good. Pretty much the whole semester, the teacher is going to talk about that and explain it in more details. What is that? So when you're sending a signal, you if you're sending a signal, Oh, by the way, I'm going to ask you later. So, let's say what topology I'm using right now? Boss. Boss. Very good. That's a boss topology. Boss topology. But I'm using Ethernet standard. What is the Ethernet standard? Ethernet has a characteristic. If I want to use a start topology or a bus topology, I have to use those devices on the table. I cannot mix up those things. Although the speed is thing, but the, I cannot use the RJ45 the bus topology. It doesn't work. It has to be uh, uh, Roger cable. I have to use those, I have to use for a, what do call it? For a smart yeah. topology, how? Oh, I have to use a hub for that. So, my, I was trying to uh, talk about the characters. If this is the number one, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? If this computer number one wants to send a signal to number six, when the signal goes, send me an email, whatever, everybody gets it. Only one machine picks it up. Only one. Why this machine picks it up? Anybody know? What? No. Because the protocol, uh, when the machine mm -hmm. is sending, it is addressed to. So, by the way, this way, everyone gets a signal. But why is this machine only fix it up? Because when this machine see the signal is addressed to it. So okay, the address. What else? That's not good enough. But there will be has address. I can understand what yes. I know it. Something I'm gonna go for the center. MAC address. Have you heard about MAC address? India access control on your computer. Every single computer is here as a NIC card. The new card has a unique idea, a uh, unique uh, number. It's a hexadecimal number, 48 bit. And that, only this machine in the world has this number. That's why if you do something illegal, you can trace you to the map and cross your IP So I said you can find it. If you tell no, I better go to the, the internet cafe, they can trace you. Because the second time you log in, you put your name, this is the uh, registered name, they can trace you, they can find you. I got this because it's me. Nobody else in the world has it. Okay? Anyway, so everybody gets a signal, only number six, and the MAC address, oh, that's for me. I think 
get out and let the rest ignore it. That's not good. And that's the way it works. So this is the characteristic of even. So the sigma variable, that's why they work that here. This is everyone. But the way it works, this part I'm trying to talk about. Carrier sense multiple CSMDA CV. What is that? The name says it. Carrier sense. When this computer wants to talk to this one, it's going to listen to the cable if it's free. Okay? If the cable, if the cable is free, then it starts to send a signal. It could happen. This is just a seven computer. I'm talking about hundreds of computers, and they want to talk to each other at the same time. Could happen. Okay? So what's going to happen? If this machine wants to send a signal to this one, a collision happens. That's why the word collision is in there. A collision happens. And so both have to back up. And then, after a certain time, and then reset the again. And that's why this carrier sense has the technology was turned up, taking drop response. Try to avoid as much as it can for the collision. And that's the target. We have something for the wireless, we have this is for the wireless. This is the captured wireless, this is the wireless. Okay. That's the way it's doing. This is very, very fun talking about, okay? Just give me an idea, okay? That's exactly what I'm talking about, Syria, okay? Don't worry about it, I'm not going to ask you any questions. So, the next one I'm going to ask you possibly, yeah, that's the big question for you guys. What is a DNS? A minimum service. What is a DNS? Every single day, we do it at least 50 times a day. At least, as long as you're in a computer. What is a DNS? Uh huh. Very good. It's not, uh, it's not the way we call it. It's not the. Don't connect the name to the what? IP address. It's the name given to an IP address. Name. Sitting here, and you try to go to Microsoft.com. 
You try here, you can do that. If you have a DNS as it before you connect it to marketplace.com or online.com, the right way gives you the IP address, the other company. If not, you send it to your name card or send it to the school. Okay? If it's not there, then go to send it to the second level. In this case, cooperation or organization different level. If it's not there, send it to the next level. For any reason, you cannot find it, send it, you don't see it from here. Here, there's a dot, you call it root. Root has access to everything. Root can find it. There is no way you can know this. That's why it takes time. Sometimes you try to log into any website, it takes time, because it's not in your way, until you send it to root. Root has access to everything, and the big companies taking care of that. And then they can find it in the unless. That server you turn to log in to, to connect to it, it becomes busy. Okay? That's the way DNS works. Work group? Uh, no, I'm not going to ask a question because I'm not going to explain it. You know, in my class, we went through this stuff. That's why I'm just going to pass it. DHCP, you should know that. What is the DHCP? The name said it. Every single computer has to have an IP There are two ways to get it. One is automatically, you can copy a computer look at it, I show. or you can do it, you know, static. static. I can give an IP address, you can put it in the computer, and then the communication happens. That's the crucial part of the, the dynamic that means, you know, the server, there's a server, you go by a bunch of numbers, and when you log into this one, rather the server gives you an IP address for you to uh, have a communication device, okay? If you don't have an IP address, you won't be able to connect. And that's the job of the DHCP. Otherwise, if I have a small network, five, six computers, or ten computers, or a maximum of 20 computers, I didn't talk about the, I didn't talk about the work group of 20 computers. I can go through to the IP addresses manually, I can do that. It's a time consuming, but it's, it's easy. So, the DHCP gives you an IP address, automatically I mentioned. IP address is a 32 bit number. Okay, the decimal number of ports you have seen in the middle of time. Let me show you that. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to see. It's 32 bit. In the exam, I'll, of course, I play with those numbers. Pay attention. It's a decimal number. And we run out of those numbers. We don't have enough numbers to give it to people all over the world. Five, almost 4.5. Uh, Million numbers, God. So that's why you may have heard about IPv6. Have you heard about IPv6? Yes, sir. 128 bit. There is no way, you know, they say run out of numbers like that. Because in the future, everything we have, we'll your phone, IPv6. Your, your coffee, your drinking has an IP address. I'm serious, I'm not joking. At home, you have a garage door, a refrigerator door, everything has to have IP address. And that's why they came with 128 bit numbers. It's a hexadecimal number. Okay, and uh, I was going to say that uh, they say every individual human being on Earth, up to nine billion people, right from the seven point five. When the UN gets uh, sixty-four million IPs, I think that's good enough for you to put around the round the time. Okay, that's the 120 IPv6. But no, you see that the IPv4, okay? Don't worry about the number. You will learn this one. That's your nightmare comes when you need the summary. That will come. If you have a problem, come talk to me, buy me beer or buy me Pepsi. If you don't drink, whatever. And I can help you with those. I'm very good at this. So, that's the IP address I was talking about. Static, dynamic. Static, manually, go to those numbers. Dynamic, you go to the go to control panel, right click on system, and go to network, you see your computer, yeah. or you go to CMD type, IP can be, boom, there is the IP address. You have to know this. Uh, that's why I'm going to my question. This is the question, for example, pay attention. IP can be, and IP can be slash all. There are different between those two. If you want to go to CMD type, you will see. IP copy gives you the IP address, gives you the socket mask, 
and give you the false gate weight. Okay? IP config slash space slash off gives you more data. It's regarding your DNS, DHCP, and the false gateway, something map, more details, okay? You can try to see the three of them the difference between those two for example. You may get the other question. The next one is the ping. These are utilities for all of those is the kind of utilities of put on the TCP IP. Okay? TCP IP, I think I have it here. Yeah. Go back to the is a protocol made of seven protocols. Okay, you call it stack or you call it suite. That's why you put it. Okay. Seven, we call it suite. Also, they call it stack as well. Just in case, there are seven of them. That's why you can go to the internet and come back based on that particular program. Okay? And that's next semester when you learn it, you're going to learn it. Your teacher goes through this step, you have to memorize all those steps. Whether that you have to remember. You understand the concept. See, when you send a signal, go this direction, go to the next computer, and you know, got it. Complete the signal and then your friend sees the message you send. Okay? That's a very simple thing I'm talking about, of course. These are the things you have to know for example, at least the first two. Okay? You could do that by yourself later on. The match, you see it's how to talk about the bridges you don't need to know. So which is on top of the okay, for the next two. This is the tools for hacking. You're going to learn about that. Basic. You can do it. Okay? And then, bring it sometime. Now, I have this in the top of the world. Any questions? We are pretty much done with the, the whole thing. I passed, of course. I mentioned the area for the study. Okay. Each question uh, weighted into one. So if you don't know some question, don't waste your time because unfortunately you don't have enough time. I'm telling you right now. Unless you are fast and you know, you know it. It's expression for your bearing. They say if you don't know it, it takes you five minutes. If you know it, it takes you one hour. And that's true. So if you know it, it takes a longer to figure out that you can answer those questions. And uh, each question uh, within this one part. So if you don't know it, don't waste your time to troubleshoot that particular question, especially the conversion. Some of you are not fast enough to do it. So skip this part, go to the next one, do it, you know, cheat like if you can. Okay? Not even on the track, but if you can, that's fine. With me, I don't know. As long as I don't catch you. So, okay? And then. When it's done, uh, you should be okay. These things I mentioned, pretty much I have to be honest with you, I was talking about what you understand. Pretty much the same thing. So, after that, do the chapter one. If you have a question, next week again I'm here. I'm here again. If you need help, anything. Before I let you go, did you get uh, an email? Uh, what is your example, by the way? First, let me ask a question. Yeah, when is well, it? So, well, what, what time? 